Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. I have always got something up my sleeve. The other day I asked in a community post what you guys wanted to see in a two meter, 70 centimeter VU dual band mobile radio. A lot of you came back and said we want more bands. Totally get it. But besides that, y'all came back with a bunch of stuff and I've got a checklist here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start reviewing radios based off of this checklist. And today the radio we're gonna do is the Vero VRN76. So first thing I'm gonna do is show you what all comes in the box so you know what you need to get if it isn't already in here or you know what comes with it. So you, yeah, you know what to do with that stuff. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna do this. And I'll leave a copy of this down below so you guys can work on this as well if, with your radios and figure out which ones stack up to which. We'll start doing some blog posts over on the website at temporarilyoffline.com. And then in a follow-up video, we'll do something else. This radio has an amazing amount of features. I've already covered a lot of them with the VRN76. I'll leave a link to that playlist down below as well because this is probably one of the most advanced radios you're gonna find in a two meter, 70 centimeter mobile. So let me know what hasn't already been covered that you want to see, but I can already tell you that this radio's got AI processing inbound and outbound. So I want to check that out in a future video. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Let's get over to the bench, get this thing opened up, and get this thing filled out. Oh, it's upside down. I have to be gentle opening the box to preserve it for future generations. Oh, there is that mounting bracket that we were talking about and it is individually wrapped. I will keep this in its pristine individual wrappedness for us going forward. Maybe, maybe I'll just mount it and keep it forever. I have no idea. The user's manual, I did not ever look at the user's manual for the N76, I don't recall, because it's relatively straightforward to use. The HT app, same thing. The HT app is a little bit more confusing to use, but just enough button mashing, like the old Mortal Kombat days. <laughs> <laughs> Gets it all done. Over here we have microphone holder and some feet, it looks like. Are those feet? Yeah. Screws and fuses. Nice. They give you a ton of stuff in here. The microphone. This is actually a really big upgrade from the 7500, the previous model, which was actually a pretty cool radio too and sort of paved the way for future generations of excellence. But this microphone has a display on it because the radio doesn't. The radio is actually designed for, oh, it's a push button and it's an up and down button. And there's a button there, there's a button there, your wing buttons, power button for the radio. Yep, the radio was specifically designed to not need a faceplate. Once you get it programmed, you don't need to ever plug it into the computer again, but you can. T connector, fuses, positive and negative, power cord, bare ends. Warning, do not transmit without antenna. Okay, that makes sense. I always love how they do the cardboard packaging. And so there is the radio, super sexy. I bet that's a USB, oh, oh wow, I'm wrong. It's a USB-A port. I wonder why that's a USB-A port. Because the N76 is a USB-C port. I'm also not really sure what you would use that for. I guess, Maybe some programming. Maybe we can check the owner's manual in a future video. That is not what this video is about. Just to, just to clarify that. We have antenna port, we have speaker jack, we have power, transmit and receive, and then we have the place to screw in the microphone. And this is one of those airplane style connectors that screws in, and then there is your microphone. The microphone's almost as big as the radio itself. All right, excellent. Let's start looking at this checklist here. All right, so at the very top of the checklist, detachable head. This one kind of does because you're supposed to use like an Android tablet or an Android uh, phone or something like that in order to control it remotely. So we're gonna check the box that this has a detachable head because you can totally take this radio and shove it under a seat and forget about it. Put it in your center console and forget about it. You don't need it. Microphone attaches to the head or Bluetooth. This one is Bluetooth. More bands. This one does not have more bands. It's only 2 and 70. All mode. It is only FM. Transmit. It doesn't have that. Full duplex. Oh, I put two Ds in duplex. I'm going to need to fix that. Bit a big note there to fix that. Double D. Big display. This is really cool. This radio will attach to my phone. My phone can then do video out to a, a television or something. So I could have a 42 inch display if I wanted to, or I could have a cell phone size display. So there is this size compared to other radios that are out there that only have like a single line LED display. Yeah, this is, this is already bigger, but I can get it even bigger than this. 
So we've got the big display. Voice control. I don't remember about that. We'll have to look into that. So I'm going to make a note to look into that one. Loudspeaker for noisy environments. This is Bluetooth. It is as loud of a speaker as you want to attach it to. Microphone is there. I mean, the sound's got to come from somewhere. Yeah, so it's got to be a yeah handheld speaker microphone. And then it does have the external speaker connection. So it doesn't have it built in. So I'm going to give this a half. And we're going to give this a, not a, not a check, but a, but a half, a half a box there. Cross band repeat, I will need to look into that. So let's put a look into this. Air band, cap, marine, GMRS, FRS, etc. receive. It can receive most of these. I need to double check on air band. Data connector, this one is Bluetooth and it's also a KISS TNC. So yes, it has a very modern wireless data connector for a wireless hobby, weird. COS signal output, I'll need to check on that. 1200, 9600 discriminator, non-discriminator input output. I don't know what the Bluetooth TNC does in terms of whether it goes through the discriminator or it goes through the non-discriminator. So we'll have to check that out. IQ out, this one does not have IQ out. Transverter connector, no. And that one's kind of a nuanced thing. I mean, yeah, I can plug something into the antenna port and then transvert that with an external deal. But I think what people are talking about here is they want to be able to use the regular you know, frequency display menu items in here in order to do transverter stuff. So I'm gonna still say no on that. Mounting bracket, yes. Quick release, no. Real VFO knob, no. Downloadable GPS filterable repeater database, not natively. So I'm gonna say no. Real USB connection, firmware programming cat control. So I did see a USB connection on the front of the radio, but this one will do firmware over BT, Bluetooth. This one will do programming over Bluetooth. And there is an app called HT Commander, I believe is what it's called. I'll put a screenshot up here for you. That will do cat control, I believe, again, over Bluetooth. So not USB, but yes, it does the, it does the thing. Bluetooth KISS TNC, yes, dual VFO, two knobs. It is dual VFO, it is not two knobs. There's no knobs. So we'll give that a, we'll give that a half box. Digital voice, it is not digital voice at all. I mean, you can do all-star, but people will argue whether that's digital voice or not. Wi-Fi programming. This one doesn't have any Wi-Fi, but it does have Bluetooth programming. So we're gonna cross that one out. AGC ALC volume normalization. Yes, this one has AI noise reduction. And like I said, we'll do this in a future video. Why did I put a B down there? And so that's kind of what that is. And AGC is RX and ALC is TX volume normalization. And it has it on both. One speaker per band for dual band, no. So what we're talking about there is there's only one external speaker connection on the back of the radio here. And they want one for VFOA and a separate one for VFOB. Some radios have that, this one does not. Weather alert. I don't think this radio has weather alert. It will do scan, but that's not the same thing. I don't want to hear the weather channel because it goes every day, all day long, 24 seven. I want to get the, I think it's called SAME, S-A-M-E, and it's an acronym for something. And they'll send a special tone, which will then tell your radio to wake up and alert you to like an incoming tornado. This is a really good feature. I don't think it has it. Let's go over to the computer and take a look at the other things on here on the list. All right, we're looking at the website here. I know you guys can look at the website on your own, but I need to fill out this checklist. So bear with me a little bit as we go down the list. Let's see. I need to look up full du -du duplex. Du -du 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 duplex. I don't think it's full duplex, but we might even need to test it because they might not know that it's full duplex. But I bet if they knew it was full duplex, they would be bragging about it. Onboard GPS and compass. Nice. Didn't know it had a GPS built in. It's kind of redundant, but you know, it's also nice. Because again, if you disconnect the phone from it, it's still a fully functional radio. You don't need the phone or the tablet, but it's really nice to have it. I know some grumpy OMs out there are going to get really angry. Who needs an HT? It needs a phone. It's an internet connected radio. No, it's not. It's not really. But welcome to the 20th century. Man, there is a ton of stuff. They talk about continuous firmware updates. They actually, they really do listen. I remember my friend Mike K at MRD made a video where he said the text on the screen is unreadable because it was like red on black and it was small. They came out with a firmware update. They made it yellow on black and they made it bigger. Okay, awesome. And the recent improvements, that's true. They did do Smart Be Beaconing and Mike E on the APRS type stuff. Mike E on the, Mike E messages on transmit. They don't decode Mike E messages on receive yet in the screen itself. They might do it in the app. 
I see nothing on here about full duplex. So maybe a test for a future video. All right, awesome. So that one I'm gonna put a big X on. Voice control, AI noise reduction. Let's see, voice, voice control. I don't know what you want for voice control anyway. Program the following repeater, 146.97, with an offset of plus six, yeah, I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you have any idea why you would want voice control of a radio. Because the radio is going to be giving voice out which I guess it would hear, and then it's also going to be receiving your voice. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to make a big X on that one, though. Crossband repeat. No crossband repeat. Let's see about airband. It does receive airband. And this radio actually is relatively open. So we've got transmit from 144 through 146, 430 through 440. The last time, the, the, the HT that I have from them, it would transmit on GMRS, so it probably is already... Mars cap modded, you know, Mars Mars modded. Uh, let's see, receive is 88 to 108, which is FM radio. It receives uh, 108 to 137 for air band, 136 to 174, which includes the two meter ham band, 174 through 225 general coverage. So it'll get you into the 220 band, that's nice. 300 to 400 for AM and FM receive, 400 to 520, which includes the four 40, the 70 centimeter ham radio band. But look at this, see how it says there's a star for receive only, receive only, receive only, receive only. But 400 to 520, it's it's saying it's gonna transmit from 400 to 520. COS signal output. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know that they know what that is. And since there's not actually technically a data connector on this, is there a microphone pin out? There's a lot of pins on that microphone. All right, I had to go to their China website to get the manual, make that a little bit easier to see. And we're looking for microphone, 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 microphone jack, AF out, which is your speaker, microphone AN, microphone AP. What is AN and AP? Ground, receive data, transmit data, RST. What is RST? Uh, plus five volts. So we've got to get some detail on what these things here are. But none of those sounds like a carrier operated squelch signal. So I'm going to put a big X on that. And I don't see, I see AF out. So this AN and AP, that could be your discriminator, non-discriminator audio. Nothing on 1200, nothing on 9600. So I'm gonna cross that off until further investigation comes about. That's it. All right, let's get back over to the bench and add all this stuff up. All right, I'm gonna do... One, two, three, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, 6.5, 7.5, 8.5. We'll just do a half there that one, that was nine. That's the dual VFO. It has dual VFO, but it doesn't have two knobs. I should split that out into something else. But, you know, first time we're using a checklist. No plan survives first contact with the enemy. 10. All right, so this is 10 points, and it should be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 10 points out of 26. 10 points out of 26. 10 points out of 26. Nice. I doubt you're going to see any radio that has a 26 point score for the next several generations. So radio manufacturers, if you are watching this video, take this checklist. It is linked in the description down below and start making radios that do this thing. All mode radio, SSB, that would be fantastic. This is looking like the perfect upgrade if you already have one of these awesome N76 handhelds because it does all the same stuff that the N76 does, plus a little bit extra with a little bit of extra power to it. And check out that microphone, that's pretty slick. They do have a Bluetooth speaker mic that you can use, so the microphone attaches to the non-detachable head. It also attaches to nothing, because this is 2025 and we should have had wireless Bluetooth microphones and ham radios about 20 years ago. So, good to see it. Check the description down below for some links for this radio and some more information and a $10 off discount code. There are going to be a bunch of videos on this radio coming out in the future. Let me know in a comment what you would like to see. And I will also link the playlist for all of the stuff that I've done with the N76, which is going to be pretty much the same as this, just more power in this radio. This would be fantastic for a mobile radio for your car, hidden out of sight, under the seat, out of sight, out of mind. No one's going to yell at you for it. And the antenna on the back of the car, that's, that's completely invisible. Your wife will never know. In the shack, hide this thing under a shelf somewhere, out of sight, off the desk. Keep everything clear. I can see that this is the future of ham radio. There's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.